She's serious about her travels. Do not play with her. Pretty satisfied so far. <laughs> Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikki Vante. If you've been here before, hey friend, and if you haven't, hey what's up, hello. Seen your pretty soon as you came through the door. I randomly decided to throw a dinner party before I leave Michigan, the United States of America. I'm really stressed. I wish I could talk to y'all a little bit more, but let's get ready for the dinner party. It's currently one o'clock. The dinner party starts at seven. I have to make dessert, make drinks, make food. Let's get it cracking. I want to get this flower arrangement going first, and then we're moving to dessert. So come on. I wish I could have picked up my camera to show y'all everything. Of course, in usual Nikki fashion, I was completely overwhelmed. It was funny because when I was cooking all the food, things were going good. I was like, when I move back home, I'm going to do this all the time. Oh, so you're just going to willingly stretch yourself out, Nick. Got it. It was a good time. Thought it was best to just do like a Chipotle situation at home. I'm completely exhausted and now I'm changing my mind and I'm like, I will never do this again. But of course, I'm going to do it again at some point. Yeah, it's 11.33 now. I have to get up pretty early tomorrow. We just have things to do before we get out of here. It's approximately three days until I'm out of here. The countdown begins now. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey y'all, it is like two days later. I'm gonna be honest, mentally I am unwell. I am unwell and I am unstable. I do not feel like going into much detail on it. I know I'm smiling right now, but I am unwell. Well, and not my nail popping off. Oh my god, my ADHD is spiraling right now, and I feel like I have to tell y'all this. I tried the press on nails, I kind of like them. I'm gonna bring this with me while I'm traveling, kind of look a little cheap to me, to be honest. That's fine. Who the hell cares? One of them just popped off. I have to glue them back on. I have to go like tonight to buy some more nail glue. Just what I have it on my trip. Do plan on getting my nails done when I'm traveling and all of that. My nails, my hair. Y'all will experience that once we get there. Anyways, like I said, I am spiraling right now. My anxiety is pretty much through the roof. Like I'm just gonna forget something. I feel like I'm doing things wrong. I feel scared. I feel nervous. I haven't had much time to think about the fact that I'm actually leaving the country for a year. I've gone a year without seeing family members or whatever because I was living in New York and just didn't come home for like holidays. I got some air tags. Look at my ADHD. Go off queen. But I've gone a considerable amount of time without seeing my family and all of that. I am stressed. And like I said, I just genuinely can't explain it. It just feels like so much happening. I feel like there's so little time. I do feel like I probably could have prioritized and planned things a lot better, but I try my best. I don't know what else to do. We're about to get into packing up some clothes. I was thinking about doing a Q&A tonight. I was supposed to film that like two days ago. Like I told y'all, like I'm just all over the place. I want to do a Q&A because y'all have a lot of questions and I want to make sure I get that out to y'all before this video goes up. Big stress. I'm big stress, bro, and I'm big stress. I have to start packing. Would you believe me if I said I have not started packing yet? I have to finish washing my clothes. I'm washing clothes downstairs, bro. Right this second, I'll show y'all my little setup that I have going on. Okay, so everything is here. I kind of just want to move it. I have all of my clothes on this bed and also my wigs. If you thought I wasn't bringing my wigs out of the country, you got another thing coming. But I want to bring all of this stuff out there so that y'all can also see me pack. Let me just bring all of this stuff out here. Give me one second. Ooh. 
is all of the things that I am bringing. I don't think it's that many clothes at all. I thought I would have done a lot more. Mind you, I am still in the process of washing. If I can count all of the pieces that I'm bringing, I'm gonna let you know how many pieces I'm bringing in a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm bringing about 50 pieces of clothing on this trip, which is not bad at all. I thought it'd be cool to walk y'all through some of the things that I decided to do for this trip in terms of packing and what type of clothes to bring. I kept everything super neutral. See all of these tops that I got here. I got these tops from Uniqlo. I have a bigger one, I have medium, and I have like a smaller, tighter fit one. A lot of these things are gonna have to be used and worn in a lot of different ways. I'm not bringing a lot of jeans at all. Number one, I'm not necessarily a jeans girl i like comfort over feeling squeezed in i am bringing like two or three pairs of jeans because you can always go shopping while you're out of the country as well i kept everything very very basic i have my skirts my linen pants my cargo pants tops i have tank tops most of my stuff is neutral nudes blacks whites grays that is it those are the things that you can really mix and match let's talk about shoes i kept things really simple with shoes as well a lot of this trip i'm going to be wearing sandals for a lot of the trip because it is going to be warm or hot weather for most of the time while I'm traveling. Europe is a very, very walkable city similar to New York, but it's very hilly, whereas New York is not like super hilly like that. These right here are the TVs. I saw somebody post on TikTok that Mary-Kate and Ashley wear these shoes all the time, but they have this curve here. It's like memory foam for your foot. Over time, the shoe gets more and more comfortable because it eventually takes shape of your own foot. I have some slide-ins that I bought from Zara as well. I know I'm gonna wanna a lot while I'm out, but not too crazy. Like I said, I have to consider the rest of the trip too. I caved and I bought the Sambas. I love these shoes because I feel like they can go with skirts, they can go with pants, they can go with shorts, they can be dressed up, they can be dressed down. Like, then I got a chunkier shoe. Mommy, if you're watching, I stole your shoe. Thank you. You. I really want to show y'all the luggage that I'm deciding to bring on this trip. TJ Maxx always comes in clutch. You need something super last minute and very affordable. I paid 60 bucks for this big ass luggage. I don't need any mess up with my luggage on this trip at all. Y'all, I had one little issue. I went to Spain years and years and years ago because Europe is such a walkable city and you're going to be walking with your luggage. Why was I walking with my luggage and my, man, my wheel fell off? So I said, never again, babes. So we're just going to re up on the luggage. And we should be good and covered. This looks very durable and very good. And she's huge. This is the all spray. These are book bags. You like wrap it up like this. Hold on. It's giving she's serious about her travels. Do not play with her. Don't play with her. Look at me. I have to figure out how to adjust it for my height. And you also have a smaller one as well that can go on the back or it can get strapped on to the front. The thing about these book bags is that they're not like book bags that open up and you dig in like this. Sweetie, mm-mm. You open her up, bam, bam, bam. Look at all of that. Yeah, I got a little duffel bag on me. Hold on, duffel bag bar. And you have all of the space here. And apparently she gets a lot of things in here. I've seen people pack so many things in here. Well, apparently you can't, actually, apparently you can't do the same thing for this bag. This one is just a regular bag. I thought it opened up just like that one always gonna be time for me to get more while I'm out of the country. So write down in the comments if you feel like I'm missing something, if you feel like I need something else. That's everything from the clothes department. Let's talk about what else I'm preparing. So there's a few things that I downloaded. I downloaded a few ride sharing apps like Bolt. Uber isn't as accessible as it is here, there. They have their own sort of transportation apps that they use. So I've downloaded that. I've also on the VPN. I decided to go with NordVPN. There's a few different ones, but when I did my research, I thought that, that that was the best one to go with. I wanna make sure that everything is set up as well as it possibly could be. So I got a VPN, um, which will also give me access to the USA shows and all of that, because obviously, you know, they TV and our TV is completely different. They Netflix and our Netflix is completely different. So I wanna make sure that I got, I got access to Love Island USA, okay? I'm still watching my shows. I still need access to my shows. And the next thing that I ended up getting was an eSIM. I like when you're traveling across the country, the first message that you get is from your cell phone provider is to utilize data while you're on your trip. It'll be $10 a day. 
Baby, I'm not paying y'all folks $300 a month for no data. Keep dreaming. There's this thing called an eSIM card, which essentially allows you to have data through eSIM. Y'all, I cannot explain it. I was on the phone with my friend trying to understand what the all of this stuff meant. But essentially, it is like another SIM card for your phone that allows you to have access to internet and being able to get in contact with people while you're out in another country. So you need to get one for each destination that you go to. So I bought one for Portugal. I think there's a way to get them get them from multiple countries, but they allow you to select how many days you're gonna be there. And you only pay, like I'm only paying $17 for the entire month. That's a lot better than paying $10 a day versus $17 for data while I'm there for the entire time. I feel like I should be fine. I feel like I should be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Hi, lovers. It's the next day. Of course, Love Island USA is back on the TV. I leave in approximately 45 minutes. I can't believe I've been packing for like the last three hours at least. Getting rid of stuff. I had a lot more stuff than I anticipated, so I tried to slim things down. This this is my entire year packed up in a few cubes. Y'all wanna see it? Here are my clothes. I have like my hair and makeup stuff over here. Random like toiletry stuff over here. Obviously, my wigs, they gonna, they gonna come with me, they gonna come. So I have to get this stuff and transport it into these two bags that I showed y'all. I am freaking out a bit because it is five o'clock and I wanted to be out of here by 5.45 at the least. My plane doesn't leave until 9 p.m. But I have a video to edit and I just wanted to get to the airport on time. Oh crap, I have more stuff over. <sighs> Let me get to packing. I don't even know if I can show y'all. Let me just get it to Portugal. So we have made it here. Um, I... I was gonna vlog while I was in the airport, but I literally was so completely overwhelmed. I hate traveling by myself, but I made it here alive and well and safe. It is a little bit dim in my place. It's about almost about eight o'clock. I'm about to meet with the people that I'm here with for our like welcome dinner. I'm really excited about that. I have to get in the shower first because I feel really icky. I've been traveling for 12 hours, y'all. I know that I haven't shown y'all much and y'all didn't get a chance to really like travel with me other than the little clips that y'all just saw. But I'm obsessed with my place. Yeah. And I'm talking love because I think my roommates sleep. But I am so absolutely and incredibly obsessed with my place. You're not gonna see it now. I'm actually gonna cut this vlog off today. Take y'all with me to the welcome dinner so y'all don't feel like y'all missing out on nothing. I am completely obsessed with this place. I think it's really nice. It's really so chic and modern and king you. I can't wait to cook in that kitchen. Like, hello, hello. I've already like put my stuff up. I'm like starting to hang some stuff. So this is like my room. I will show y'all the tour, like I said, in the next vlog. So y'all will have to stay updated and check in on your girl, okay? We made it to Portugal. Like I said, I'll be here for 30 days. Three zero, 30 days. I'm scared that I was gonna have AC. <laughs> she does, period. So I'm about to get your rest. I'm about to get in the shower. I'll show y'all me putting on my makeup and then we'll go and get dinner folks and i'll cut this off and we'll start again tomorrow we are clocked in baby clocked in clock it clock it <laughs> Tonight, how we ended up going to the bar. Well, not the bar, but they call it the Pink Street. 
Then we went to a random concert that was outside. It turned out to be a really good night. This is how the rest of the trip is gonna go. I am pretty satisfied so far. Everybody is super cool. I'm completely exhausted because I haven't had a nap or a chance to sleep yet. So I'm gonna go to sleep. And that'll wrap up the end of this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. And make sure you check me out next week. Love you, complete the heart. Bye. Bye.